Hello YouTubers. A lot of you comment on my side-by-side -side videos that I do whenever I do a comparison, whether it be between cameras or phones or whatever. And I have done a side-by-side -side tutorial for Movie Edit Pro and Sony Vegas before, but I actually do it a different way. So what I decided to do is do an updated tutorial on how to do the side-by-side -side videos if you want to do any kind of comparison type videos. So this is how I do it. I've got Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10. This way of doing things will work, should work, in pretty much any Sony Vegas that is out. As long as you've got the event pan crop option, then you will be able to do this tutorial. So first up, we want to get our video. So I've got the Explorer open here. Now, there is another way of doing it. You can just have your box open here, go into where the videos are, and just click and drag the samples in, which I'm going to do. So we've got sample one and sample two. So here's our samples. What I tend to do is have the left at the top and the right at the bottom. But to be honest, it doesn't really make that much difference. As you will see, it doesn't matter which way you have it, but that's just the way that I do it. Generally speaking, I tend to keep the left and right the same as how I held the cameras or the phones, so that the video looks the same as how I recorded it. Um, so it is useful to remember which one, which hand you had it in at the time. So we've got our two video clips. What we want to do is we want to match the two audio clips. Now as you can hear, they're, they're not in alignment and basically you want to get them in aligned. So we'll do it so that we can only see the audio by clicking on these little squares here, minimize track height, that's what you want to use. And then you just click and drag so that the timeline is bigger. Now I use this here as a guideline for where I want to sort of put the audio so we shall just put it there and you move it to about there. Let's test it. Okay this is a test shot between the Kodak plate touch and the... That is perfect. Basically what you want it to sound like is as close to one audio track as possible. Now the reason you're doing this is not so much for the audio, it's more to make the two videos be in alignment. So that when you're moving your cameras around um, the room or wherever you're moving them, it's so that they're both moving at the same time, so that you get the pictures as identical as possible. And that's the reason why we align up the audio, because it's easier to do it that way than to try and align up the videos. Right, so now you've got your videos aligned. We just shrink down the audio because we don't really need that at the moment. Now what you want to do is zoom out, which you can do using the zoom in time buttons down here at the bottom. Or if you've got a trackball on your mouse, you can do that as well. We've got our two videos here. Let's just open up the preview window a bit. You want to split the video into threes. So you go to about a third of the way into the video and press, well, let's take it about there, press S to split on both tracks and then do about halfway through the next bit, press S to split, S to split. Then you can delete that one and delete that one. All you do is click over the video clip and press the delete button and that'll delete it. Um, the reason I've done this is because it's an easy way of doing it other than, you know, because it's the first part that you want to change, not the second bit, because we want to be able to view this as normal later on. So now we go back to our first bit of video and you want to go to the event pan crop option, which is at the end of the video clip. Click on that and it brings up this. Go to maintain aspect ratio and you want to click on that and go down to no. Next, what you want to do is zoom out. Now, you can either use the mouse trackball wheel on your mouse, but if you haven't got that, go to the zoom edit tool, 
right click to zoom out, left click to zoom in. So we want to zoom out. So we'll go back to the arrow to get the little hand and then we just drag it over. Now what we're going to be doing is doing the left side first. So we'll zoom in a little bit I think. You hover over the middle button so you get that arrow, those two arrows. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag it over until you've got another box. And as you can see in the preview window, it's moved the video so that it's more or less halfway um, in between. So we're quite happy with that. Next, you go to the bottom one and drag it down to about four dots. I normally do it. And that will produce the space underneath the clip so that you can put your text in there. If you want to type in left at the top of the box and then click save and that will save it as a preset. As you can see I already have left and right. Basically it just makes it easier so that when you come to do this again instead of faffing about with all of this you can just go to your left preset and it will do it as left. So that's why we do that. Event pan crop again exactly the same process with the um, right one zooming out but this time we're going to go to the left of the box to, to make it on the right side. Now as you can see, because I haven't done the maintain aspect ratio, it's made it like that. And obviously we don't want it like that, so that's why we click on it and put it to no. So that it stretches it out for the whole of the screen. Do your four dots or however you want it to be, and then you save it as a preset. And because I've already got it as a preset, I'll just click that and that puts it in nice and lovely. So that's your side by side part done. Now what you want to do is put in your text. So we go to media generators, text, click over the text that you want to use. I'm just going to use the sample text default. Left click on it, drag it over and put it underneath. Now what we want to do is drag that to the top because as you can see, you can't see the sample text in the video in the preview window. So we want to drag that so that it's over the top and there it is. Then we go to the generated media option box at the top, click on that, highlight the text, go to the drop down menu for the size and I normally have it about 48. You can actually click on that and make it your own size if you want to, um, but I normally generally keep to about 48 because that's normally a good size. So now highlight it, highlight it again, delete. So now we put in side one, space, 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 space. Now as you're doing this, you're having a look at the preview window to see where the text is. And as you can see, it's not really where we want it to be. So you go to placement, click and drag the text down to the black shaded area, and then just basically put it where you want it. If, it, if you need to adjust it, then just delete or use spacebar to adjust it. That's the text done. Normally what I do is have the side, the text throughout the whole of the side by side. Then when I put in the text for the next part of the video, generally what I'll do is um, have the text down the bottom of the video and I'll fade it in so that half of the video is, you have the text at the bottom and the other half of the video, you don't have any text at all. So side one video and sound. Now obviously that's too big so we want to make it smaller and then we want to place it down there. And so there you have side one video and sound. Side by side text. As it goes into the second part of the video you don't have any text at all so you can see the best of it and then you just do the same for the second part of the video and then that's it that's your comparison side by side video done that's the way that I do it now the finishing touch to this video basically when you play the audio play touch and the Kodak ZX5 this is just uh... sometimes and I don't know why this happens but sometimes as you play the audio it can gradually go out of sync now what I tend to do is I'll choose which audio I think is the best for the first part 
and delete the other audio. Now how you do that, I'm going to keep the top audio and get rid of the bottom audio. So you click on the bottom audio or whatever audio you want to get rid of. You press U to ungroup, click on it again and press delete and that will delete the bottom audio. A test shot between the Kodak Play Touch and the Kodak ZX5. So now you've only got one piece of audio and you won't get any echo in or anything going out of sync or anything like that. Generally speaking I find that the video tends to sort of not be affected that much but the audio can sometimes go out of sync so that's why I get rid of the bottom audio. Obviously it's up to you the way that you want to do it. This is a very basic guide on how I would do it. Like I said at the beginning of the video this will work pretty much in every version of Sony Vegas that there is whether it's old or new. As all you need is the event pan crop option really. That's the only major one that you need. So being able to get into here is what you need to do the side by side. Okay, well I hope this has helped and um, I hope this has shown you how I do it. I found this way to be the easiest. It's a lot easier than the way that I did it in my other video and in I just thought that I would share this with you. Okay, that's enough from me. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll do some more later on. Okay, bye-bye for now.